working on a disc brake conversion for a set of Volvo portal axles. Uh, we've got the stub axle set up in the lathe. Uh, we've got to get rid of the large bolt pattern. We're going to set up to go with a standard truck eight lug bolt pattern. We get to that so we can do disc brakes. And uh, now we're going to make some smoke. The trick is to machine away with our 10 horsepower metal removing machine. So the flange on that's about a quarter inch thick, but back here where I'm machining, that's more like about a half inch thick. I burned up a drill bit one time God bless my machinist instructor. He just told me where there's smoke, there's work being done. Now, work out. Bite off about another eighth of an inch at a time. We get right in there or we're just starting that cut. Down on top of that. I probably could have flame burned these, but then you have the problem of uh, taking your your bits through the uh, hardened material from the flame burn or the plasma cut. By the time you take you all out and resharpen a couple times, it's just about as quick to just hog it off of there. So you hear the sound of that as it gets thinner, it's going to change. Eventually, we're going to lose it all here. Eventually you'll see this flange will start wobbling. That's, the castings are never the same. You're never really sure just where you're going to break through at. Okay, now I'm out for the studs. I gotta work around the fucking studs. I could have took them out, but what's the challenge of that? until I hit the studs and then I'll sneak in a little bit more. chip here. Over here you can see we're on the last one and pretty much filled an entire garbage can with chips. They 
come out easier when I take it out of the lathe. Let's see how that goes. we get that out of the lathe a little bit more work we machine a step in that just enough so it sits tight when we weld it that's going to sit there in our uh, slug and we'll be ready for uh, welding and uh, plug studs thanks for turning in <laughs>